Hey, 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 scholars. Mrs. Darden here yet again, ready to start a new lesson. So today we're gonna be starting on lesson 145. But before we start with lesson 145, let's review what we learned so far. Are you ready? Sitting like a start and three, two, one. Awesome job. Let's get started. What do we call a place where airplanes land? Get ready. Yes, an airport. Let's take a look at some things that you see in an airport. Think big, scholars. All right. Um, what is this? Get ready. Yes, a runway. What is, what do we call this man? Get ready. Yes, a pilot. What is this? Get ready. Yes, an airport terminal. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a hangar. And what is this? Get ready. Yes, a baggage cart. Awesome job, scholars. I know you guys remembered everything we talked about for an airport. Kiss those brains. Say, I am so smart. All right, let's get started with lesson 145. Here we go. Are you ready? Here's the first game. Watch me. What am I doing? Get ready. Yes, patting your head. Now, what am I doing? Get ready. Yes, touching your ear. What did I do before I touched my ear? Get ready. Yes patted your head. Say the whole thing about what I did before I touched my ear. Get ready. Awesome job. You patted your head before you touched your ear. Awesome job, scholars. What am I doing now? Get ready. Yes, touching your ear. Say the whole thing about what I'm doing. Get ready. Yes, you are touching your ear. Awesome job. Here's a new one. Watch me. What am I doing? Get ready. Yes, waving. What am I doing now? Get ready. Yes, touching my, touching your knee. What am I doing? Get ready. Yes, touching your knee. What did I do before I touched my knee? Get ready. Yes, I waved. Say the whole thing about what I did before I touched my knee. Get ready. Yes, you waved before you touched your knee. What did I do after I waved? Get ready. Yes, touched your knee. Awesome job, scholars. Kiss those brains. Say, I am so super duper smart. All right. Let's see how much information you remember. What do we call a person who brings your food in a restaurant? Get ready. Yes, a waiter. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Good, yes, a waiter is a person who brings your food in a restaurant. What do we call a person who works in a library? Get ready. Yes, a librarian. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, a librarian is a person who works in a library. 
What do we call a person who buys something in a store? Get ready. Yes, a customer. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Awesome job. Yes, a customer is a person who buys something in a store. What do we call a place where you buy a meal? Get ready. Yes, a restaurant. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Good job, yes, a restaurant is a place where you buy a meal. Get ready for some new information. Put those thinking caps on, sitting like a star. In three, two, one, awesome job. Listen, an engine makes a vehicle move. What makes a vehicle move? Get ready, yes, an engine. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Awesome job, yes. An engine makes a vehicle move. What do we call a place with lots of books? Get ready. Yes, a library. Say the whole thing about a library. Get ready. Awesome job, yes. A library is a place with lots of books. What makes a vehicle move? Get ready, yes, an engine. Awesome job, scholars. We are gonna talk about some more opposites. Are you ready? Listen, the opposite of clean is dirty. What's the opposite of dirty? Get ready, yes, clean. What's the opposite of clean? Get ready, yes, dirty. The children were the opposite of clean. So what do you know about them? Get ready. Yes, they were dirty. Listen, the dog was the opposite of dirty. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Yes, it was clean. Here are some more opposites. The window was the opposite of closed. So what do you know about the window? Get ready. Yes, it was open. The teacher was the opposite of short. So what do you know about her? Get ready. Yes, she was tall. The birds were the opposite of small. So what do you know about them? Get ready. Yes, they were big. A can was the opposite of open. So what do you know about the can? Get ready. Yes, it was closed. Some dirt was the opposite of hard. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Yes, it was soft. Awesome job, scholars. Kiss those birds. Good job. Take out your camera and go. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Say, looking good, looking good. Awesome jobs. I see you shining, scholars. All right. You are going to tell me if things are in the same class or different classes. Listen, a barn and a store. What class is a barn in? Get ready. Yes, buildings. What class is a store in? Get ready. Good, buildings. So are they in the same class or different classes? Get ready. Good, the same class. Listen, a barn and a hat. What class is a barn in? Get ready. Yes, buildings. What class is a hat in? Get ready. Yes, clothing. So the, are they in the same class or different classes? 
Get ready. Yes, different classes. Awesome job, scholars. We're on to the next exercise. Here we go. Think of things that are made of glass. Let's see if you can name at least three things made of glass. Get ready. Good job, scholars. You could have said glasses are made of glass. You could have said a fish tank. You could have said a mirror. You could have said a lamp, a vase. Awesome job with thinking of things that are made of glass. Here's another one. Think of things that are made of rubber. Let's see if you can name at least three things made of rubber. Get ready. Good job, scholars. So you could have said an eraser, a tire, a water hose, a balloon, a ball, a rain boot. All those things are made of rubber. Awesome job. Here's another one. Think of things that are made of cloth. Let's see if you can name at least three things made of cloth. Get ready. Great answers. So you could have said gloves, you could have said a blanket, a pillow, you could have said a towel, you could have said um, a shirt. All those things are made of cloth. Good job, scholars, kiss those brains. Say I am super duper smart. Awesome job. Now, here's a tricky one. Name the parts of a nail. Get ready. Awesome job. Listen, the parts of a nail is a head, a shaft, and a point. Awesome job. Why does a nail need a head? Think about it. Why, do, why does a nail need a head? Get ready. Great answer, scholars. So you could have said, so that it can be hammered into the wall. Good job. Why does a nail need a shaft? Get ready. Great answer. So you could have said something as, to hold things together. Or if you're nailing something into the wall, it needs to go all the way in so it can hold it, right? All right, good job. Why does a nail need a point? Get ready. Great answers. So you could have said something to make it go into the wood. We need that nail so it can go into the wood. Awesome job. Now, everybody, what do you see that is absurd? Get ready. Yes, the eraser. What is absurd about a nail that has an eraser? Get ready. Great answers. So you can say a, hell, um, a nail doesn't need an eraser. You can't, hammer, um, you can't hammer the point into it. So if it had an eraser, you can't hammer that into the wall. That's right. You couldn't hammer a nail that has an eraser. Name something that needs an eraser. Get ready.
good. He could have said, and um, a pencil needs an eraser. We need erasers because if we make a mistake, we need to have an eraser. Awesome answer, scholars. So what would you do if you found an eraser on the nail? Get ready. Yeah, you can just take off the eraser, right? All right. Can you think of something else that would look absurd on a nail? Get ready. Right, like if you put the eraser on the end of the, um, on the head, or something else that could be absurd is that the um, nail doesn't have a head, or doesn't have a shaft, or doesn't have a point. So all those answers were super great. Awesome job. Let's keep going. Sitting like a star. Three, two, one. Mm, good job, scholars. All right, we are gonna figure out who will win the race. Look at the children. Listen, the child who will win the race is shorter. Listen again, the child who will win the race is shorter. Say the whole thing about the child who will win the race. Get ready. Yes, the child who will win the race is shorter. Awesome job, scholars. Let's keep going. Is this child shorter? Get ready. Yes. So will this child win the race? Get ready. Yes. Is this child shorter? Get ready. No. So will this child win the race? Get ready. No. Which child will win the race? Get ready. Yes, the girl. Let's see if you were right. Which child won the race? Get ready. Yes, the girl. Is the girl shorter? Get ready. Yes, you are right. The child who won the race is shorter. So who is faster, the girl or the boy? Get ready. Good, the girl. Yes, the girl is faster than the boy. Say the whole thing about the girl. Get ready. Yes, the girl is faster than the boy. Listen, the girl is shorter than, get ready. Yes, the boy. Say the whole thing about the girl. Get ready. Yes, the girl is shorter than the boy. Um, one of these children is taller. Which child is taller? Get ready. Yes, the boy. The boy is taller than, get ready. Yes, the girl. Say the whole thing about the boy. Get ready. Yes, the boy is taller than the girl. Awesome job, scholars. Take out your chili pepper. Pick them out, put it in your mouth. Say hot, hot, hot. Awesome, because you guys are smoking hot. We're running through this exercise super fast. All right, look at the picture. There we go, I'm sorry. <laughs> look at the picture. This is a bucket. When I touch an object, you tell me its name. Get ready. Yes, a bucket. Get ready. Yes, a box. Get ready. Yes, a rock. One of the objects is bigger than the box. Name the object that is bigger than the box. 
Get ready. Yes, the rock. Say the whole thing about the rock. Get ready. Good, yes, the rock is bigger than the box. Again, say the whole thing about the rock. Get ready. Yes, the rock is bigger than the box. One of these objects is smaller than the box. Name the object that is smaller than the box. Get ready. Yes, the bucket. Say the whole thing about the bucket. Get ready. Yes, the bucket is smaller than the box. Again, say the whole thing about the bucket. Get ready. Yes, the bucket is smaller than the box. Awesome job, scholars. Are you ready? Here we go. Next exercise. Let's make up rules for these girls. Look at the girls who were on the porch. Listen, if a girl is on the porch, what is she doing? Get ready. Yes, jump roping. What is the rule about a girl who is on the porch? Think big. Get ready. Yes, if a girl is on the porch, she is jump roping. Awesome job. Look at the girls who are on the sidewalk. Now, if a girl is on the sidewalk, what is she doing? Get ready. Yes, playing checkers. What's the rule about the girl who is on the sidewalk? Get ready. Yes, if a girl is on the sidewalk, she is playing checkers. Awesome job. Look at the girls who were on the steps. Listen, if a girl is on the steps, what is she doing? Get ready. Yes, reading a book. What's the rule about the girl who is on the steps? Get ready. Yes, if a girl is on the steps, she is reading a book. Awesome job. Let's do those rules again. What's the rule about the girl who is on the sidewalk? Get ready. Good, if a girl is on the sidewalk, she is playing checkers. Awesome job. What's the rule about the girl who is on the steps? Get ready. Yes, if a girl is on the steps, she is reading a book. What's the rule about the girl who is on the porch? Get ready. Good, if a girl is on the porch, she is jump roping. Awesome job, scholars. Next exercise, we're almost there. All right. Myself on the mouth. <laughs> All right. Look at these signs. This is a new sign. It says exit. What does it say? Get ready. Yes, exit. The exit is the way out of a building. You see this sign over doors or hallways that take you out of the building. An exit sign tells you where you can leave the building. What does it tell you? Get ready. Yes, where to leave the building. Awesome job. What does this sign say? Get ready. Yes, stop. What does it tell the driver to do? Get ready. Yes, stop. 
What does this sign tell you? Get ready. Good, no bike riding. What does this sign say? Get ready. Yes, danger. What does this sign tell you? Get ready. Good, no dogs. What does this sign tell you? Get ready. Yes, no smoking. Let's go over these signs again. I'll point to each sign. You tell me what it tells you or what it says. What does this sign say? Get ready. Yes, exit. What does this sign say? Get ready. Yes, stop. What does this sign tell you? Get ready. Good, no bike riding. What does this sign say? Get ready. Yes, danger. What does this sign tell you? Get ready. Yep, no dogs. What does this sign tell you? Get ready. Yep, no smoking. Awesome job, scholars. Here we go, go ahead and roll your shoulders. Roll your neck. And this is our last one. Here we go. What do we call a place where fire trucks are kept? Get ready. Yes, a fire station. Here's a picture of a fire station. I'll name some of the things that you see in a fire station. Watch. All right, here we go. These are fire extinguishers. What are these? Get ready. Yes, fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers put out little fires. This is a firefighter's ax. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a firefighter's ax. The pointed end of the firefighter's ax is used to, break, um, to break, break down locked doors. I'll say that one more time. The pointed end of a firefighter's ax is used to break down locked doors. All right, this is a siren. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a siren. A siren warns people to get out of the way. This is an emergency light. What is this? Get ready. Yes, an emergency light. A flashing emergency light warns people to get out of the way. This is a fire pole. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a fire pole. Firefighters use a fire pole when they don't have time to use the stairs. Let's see if you can remember the names of these things. What are these? Get ready. Yes, fire extinguishers. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a firefighter's ax. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a siren. What is this? Get ready. Yes, an emergency light. What is this? Get ready. Yes, a fire pole. What else do you see in the picture? Good, I see some firemen. I see a shovel. I see some water hoses. There's a dog. Good. Um, what do we call the place you see in this picture? Get ready. Yes, a fire station. Let's see if you can think of something else you would see in a fire station. What else do you think would be in a fire station? Great. 
great answers, scholars. So I think what else would be in a fire station would be, I would probably say more water hoses. Um, there will probably be like a kitchen, um, somewhere for you to work out in because the firemen usually stay at the fire station all day. So good job scholars with those answers. All right, you're gonna go ahead and take out your worksheet. And we are on lesson 145, the one that has the man and the coat. And then down here has the sheep, the goat, the cow, and the horse. So go ahead and put your name in today's date. All right, we're starting at the top with the man in the coat. All right, here's the coloring rule for the coat. Color the pockets pink. What's the rule? Get ready. Yes, color the pockets pink. Here's another coloring rule for the coat. Color the collar purple. What's the rule? Get ready. Yes, color the collar purple. Here's another rule for the coat. The front, color the front orange. What's the rule? Get ready. Yes, color the front orange. Here's another rule for the coat. Color the sleeves green. What's the rule? Get ready. Yes, color the sleeves green. Listen, parts of the coat are missing. What parts are missing? Get ready. Yes, the buttons. So before you color the buttons, you are gonna follow the dots with your crayon. Here's the coloring rule for the buttons on the coat. Listen, color the buttons yellow. What's the rule? Get ready. Yes, color the buttons yellow. All right, just to review, here we go. The pockets are pink. Good. All the pockets are green. So here's a pocket, here's a pocket, here's, I'm sorry. All the pockets are pink. I apologize. All the pockets are pink. So pockets are pink. Good job. All right. The collar is purple. The collar is purple. The front is orange. The front of the coat is orange. The sleeves are green. And the buttons are yellow. So he has on a very, a very colorful coat. So make for sure you color the rest of this picture, make it check plus, and we're going to the bottom. All right, here we go. Find the objects at the bottom of the page. Four objects are in the same class. Two objects are in another class. Here's a rule. Find four objects that are in the same class. And you're gonna make those brown. So find the four objects that are in the same class and make those objects brown. And here's the rule about the other two objects that are in different classes. 
cross out all the objects that are not in this in the class of the things that will be brown. If it doesn't have a brown mark on it, you're gonna cross it out. All right, so just to review, the four objects that are in the same class are the animals. So you're gonna make the animals brown. And these two aren't in the same class, so you're gonna cross those out. Great job, scholars. You're gonna turn your worksheet on the back to this. What place do you see in the circle? Get ready. Yes, a city. Some objects belong in the city and some don't belong in the city. Go ahead and cross out things that do not belong in the city. Circle things that do belong in the city. All right, so a cow, does it belong in the city? Get ready. No. Does a meter go in the city? Get ready. Yeah, we see some meters. Does a truck belong in the city? Get ready. Yes. And does a barn belong in the city? Get ready. No. Awesome job. Make for sure you color this whole part up here too and the city as well. Make it look nice and neat. Now we're gonna go, go, go ahead and go to the bottom. So let's start with this box. Draw a line. Draw a line to connect the things that have the same part. Cross out the thing that doesn't have the same part. Good. So a hammer has a handle and a wagon has a handle. So you would connect these, cross this out. Next one. Draw a line, draw a line to connect two things that are made of the same material. Cross out the thing that is made of a different material. Good job, so you should have connected these two because these are both made out of cloth and this can be crossed out. Last box. Draw a line to connect the two things that are doing the same thing. Cross out the thing that is doing something different. Good, so these two should be connected because they're both eating and you would cross out the dog because he's sleeping. Great job, scholars. Awesome lesson, and I hope you guys have check plus work. See you next time. Bye.